This video is sponsored by PotownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. Looking for that last card to complete your online deck or just to get the latest booster packs in town, they literally have everything and they will have brilliant stars up on stock very shortly, so keep refreshing the website. You can use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% on everything on the website, so definitely do so to support the channel. Also, this video is sponsored by CardsMarket.com. This is a European platform where you're able to buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. I personally use it every single day to sell cards that I don't need to buy newer ones. So definitely check out the website CardsMarket and use the referral name ZapdosTCG. Last but not least is yourplaymat.com, the website to create your own unique custom playmat. You can create a playmat from scratch today, get 10% off your order by clicking the link down below and they ship worldwide, so start creating that playmat. Anyhow, uh, thanks again for uh, sticking around with the commercials, let's just get this video uh, started already. Peace! What's up YouTube, it's Zablix TCG here and welcome back to our TCG video on my channel. On this channel you get daily Pokemon TCG content, so be sure you are subscribed so you don't ever miss a single upload. Today's topic is by popular demand. I'm actually going to be showcasing uh, everything you need to know about how to qualify for the Pokemon World Championships. With real life tournaments happening very shortly and regionals uh, commencing, we actually need to know how we actually can qualify for, of course, Worlds 2022. As a little disclaimer, some people might already have championship points from the 2019-2020 season. Those will transfer over to this season, so don't worry about that aspect in the slightest. slightest. Uh, if you are new to the game, entirely new, it's still possible to qualify for Worlds, but I think it will be a little bit harder depending on the conditions. First of all, let's just explain how you in a normal year, without any COVID happening and stuff, a normal season actually starts uh, in the beginning of September all the way through July. So that's a, a regular Pokemon TCG season. And then the Worlds uh, Championships place, uh, takes place in August. This year, it's a little bit different because the season had uh, yeah some weird stuff happening because of COVID. And uh, the last time we played events was in March 2020. Uh, so that was a long time ago now we're 2022 so the thing you need you need to know here is that you need championship points in order to qualify for the pokemon world championships you can still attend the pokemon world championships even though you don't have an invite but you will not be able to play in the competition so as a little bit of a yeah agenda people might be saying like oh i want to be checking out the scenery you can do that you can go um watch everything uh, unfold there's also side events at the world championships by the way so if you want to be of course competing for the prizes and the trophy you need championship points and this is based on your uh, geographical uh, location so as you can see here for juniors uh seniors and masters if you don't know what uh, junior seniors and masters is you can see that uh, a little bit later down uh, it's also available on the website by the way but i think if i'm not mistaken is that junior is all the way up to uh, age of 12 and then uh, 12 and onwards uh, to like 16 is senior and then master is 16 plus, right? I don't know if that's entirely correct, but the information should, you should find that on uh, the website. So uh, it's divided by division. So you cannot like as an adult, like 18 plus play against like uh, children and then get, of course, CP championship points, etc. That does not happen that way. So there's, uh, the uh, they divided it by three categories, right? So for uh, my example, I'm a master player and uh, I will need, I'm from Europe by the way, so I will need 350 championship points in order to get my uh, invitation. How does this take place? Let's imagine we already got all these uh, championship points, which I actually do. You will get an, an email very shortly, uh, not, not shortly, but very short to the date of the world championship saying like, oh, congratulations trainers, uh, trainer, you actually uh, got qualified for the world championship. Uh, you can register here and stuff and uh, everything will be explained on that email. Uh, so uh, now that we know that we need 350 championship points for uh, people from US and Canada, it's 500 in the Master Division, Latin America and Oceania and South Africa actually is 250. So lower, they have been lowered down depending on the, the population, but you might think 500, that's preposterous, there's too much CP in the uh, US, but they will also have more regionals, uh, more uh, yeah ways to get points because there's way more shops and way more uh, yeah <laughs> things you can, uh, you can get CP a little bit easier in the US because there's so many cups, it's like, I think there's a cup every week. Yeah. Uh, like in normal days. I will explain to you how you can get CP and League Cups and League Challenges, but those are not uh, happening in the 2022 season. So it's a little bit difficult, but I will also explain it uh, when a regular year happens, right? So we need the amount of CP. Let's say you're a junior from Europe, you need 250. Let's say uh, you're a master from US, you need 500. So that is clear. There's also 
day two invitations for the top 16 players of US and Canada, depending on how many CP they got, and a 20, top 22 from Europe, top eight from Latin America, and top eight from Oceania, automatically get the day two invitation. And day two is where the good stuff happens, right? First you have day one, and then day two is uh, with the remaining people from day one, uh, with, of course, the people with the day two invitation. So the competition is a little bit harder. And also this year, as a, as something a prediction I would say is that they will lower down the CP threshold for sure because they are, are no uh, yeah they're not allowing league challenges to happen and league cups so the only way you can get cha uh, championship points is through regionals special events internationals and uh, yeah that's that's all I'm afraid so that's the only way you can get CP and we're gonna be talking about where they take place and all that stuff later so. You can get a day two invitation if you are like having insane amount of CP, the top of your region. Also, players in Japan and South Korea will uh, be awarded both Friday invitations and day two invitations determined by each uh, country's organized play system. So in Asia, it's a little bit different. Uh, and then we also have for the video games, but that's not for us. So as you can see, these are all the um, uh, things happening for the TCG. We have the, the League Challenge. We have League Cups. We're going to be talking about these briefly, but they are not taken uh, yeah they will not happen in 2022 but in the normal year let's say the season starts on september uh just like it would be without any covid and without any restrictions you can get uh, championship points by playing league challenges these are smaller events that can actually award you up to 15 championship points if you get first place so uh there's also uh the uh, the way you can get championship points we can uh, see that over here so league challenges are the smallest events Let's go all the way down to so special events, internationals, regionals, uh, about the yeah challenges, about the championship system, best fish limit. Let's see here. Where can we actually see that information? Booster draft? Not. That's not it. Yeah. And there's a like a, a a table showcasing how many CP you can get from specific uh, league challenges. In my opinion, if you get first place, it was like 15 points. If you get second place, you get 12 points and then it lowers down, right? And also depending on how many people have attended that league challenge. But if you play a league challenge, it's a smaller event. And if you get first place, you get 15 points, uh, second place 12, and I, I believe third and fourth place get 10 points, if I'm not mistaken. It's been so long, but normally you can find these on the website, but uh, they have not been showcasing it right here, but that's the way it goes. Then there is also uh, the uh, player <laughs> League Cups, yeah, League Cups, let's go to that. League Cups are a little bit bigger, they are also local events, they're also not happening this season. And as you can see, these events will not resume for the 2022 season, so that's a little bit unfortunate. But if you win a League Cup, you get 50 points. 50 is a lot. If you are able to uh, get a lot of points by uh, playing a lot, like Cups, you're going to be getting, of course, a little bit uh, closer to getting your Worlds invites. So uh, players of all skill levels are welcome. Uh, same for League Challenges. You don't have to already have played another tournament. You can just freely enter tournaments like these and um, they uh, actually have your top 8 best results. I've put that down here for cups. I think it was the top eight best results count. I actually just want to make sure. So yeah, the best eight finishes in your season for challenges and for cups take place into account for your uh, total CP. Imagine I've played eight league cups and I've won uh, all of them. I cannot improve that score, but let's say you have I have won seven and uh, and the last one I actually got like second place, I got 40 CP. That means I can still improve, I can play another League Cup to improve that score, but their eight best finishes uh, is for the League Cups as well as for the League Challenges, right? So note that down, you cannot play like 20 League Challenges and all of them will count, only your eight best placements will count short CP. Same goes for League Cups. But unfortunately, these do not matter in the 2022 season because they don't do it. But in regular, if you're watching this video in the future, and if you're still looking to qualify for the World Championships, you just have to play a lot of League Challenges, League Cups, and everything else as well. But uh, now you know that League Cups are bigger than League Challenges. League Challenges award you uh, up to 15 CP. League Cups award you up to 50. So uh, 15 and 50, there's a big difference right there. Cups are also way more difficult to win. And if you win a League Cup, you also get a very, very cool looking play mat. Note that down because that's awesome. Then, now that we've noticed that we can get League Challenges, League Cups, even though they don't commence this season, let's talk about the other championships that do commence. Regional championships, these still, they actually uh, award up to a lot of prizes, so uh, you can actually win like $5,000 if you win a regionals, it is possible. So uh, it's definitely worth taking into consideration because regionals are very big tournaments, 
most of the time it's like over 600 players and uh, all of these people want to uh, yeah just get their worlds invite the cool thing is that you will see the cp scaling all the way over here oh that's the price table so if you get first place you get five thousand dollars that's worth playing right definitely worth playing so uh price table so championship points as you can see if you get first place in a regional tournament 200 championship points that's already uh like for more most countries like half of the cp you need to qualify for world so it's a very very huge and it doesn't stop there like imagine if you get like uh, there's 800 people out there and you got like uh, 256, you can still get 30 CP. So it's definitely worth going to these regionals to get your CP. I think it's gonna be a little bit difficult for uh, newer players to go into the yeah, new 2022 uh, qualification rounds for like the World Championships just because of the fact that they scratch cups and league challenges. So that means the only way you can get CP is through playing regionals or internationals. Internationals are even bigger. We're gonna be talking about that very shortly. So. Yeah, you have to uh, travel a lot to get your invite. If you're really into the Pokemon TCG, it is possible. Let me just state this. I've won. I have it right here. Ta -ta -da -da -ta -ta. 305 CP thanks to playing regional tournaments. And that was in only three months time. So I almost got my entire world's invite by playing three months of regionals. It is possible. You have to just put all your time and effort into it, but it is possible. But I, I just hope Let's just go back to the World Championship that they lower the CP uh, range here, that they lower the threshold by, down by like 100 for every country or maybe like 150 for every country. That would be nice, right? That would mean uh, people in the US need 350 CP to qualify for Worlds because they can only get CP thanks to regionals. That would be just fair, right? In Europe, 200 CP would be fair uh, in that sense is that your CP that is still counted from League Challenges and League Cups might just put things off balance a little bit. I don't know how they will uh, make this into uh, a thing because right now newer players are a little bit scared. Like, do I, do I even play, right? Because it's just so hard to, uh, of course, get your world's invite this year, but it can always uh, add into your experience. I always say like, don't put regionals and like put something onto your target. Like I want to be winning regionals because I really, really need to CP to qualify for worlds. You need to play to improve your game and to have the experience. Definitely if you're a newer player, having this ex experience will help out for the 2023 season. So uh, everything you do has impact in the way you play, the way you see the events and stuff. So don't worry about it. But I just hope they lower down this threshold. They need to do that. Otherwise, new players have it very, very hard. And also uh, people from the 2019, 2020 season have a huge advantage of going into worlds. I would, I'm already having, whoa, <laughs> yeah, the microphone just goes crazy. I already have my worlds invite, but I will still play all the regionals because I think they're so much fun. I love capturing them, uh, I recording, playing with people and uh, I'm gonna try and get my day two invite. That's the thing I'm, uh, yeah, looking forward to the most here by playing, like having real life tournaments back. So uh, we were stranded here at regional tur uh, championships, 200 championship points if you get first place. And uh, even if you get like, uh, if there are like 400 people, you can still get a lot of CP by playing reasonably well in regionals. Definitely if you do a lot of them. Let's say you play uh, six regionals because that is actually the, if I'm not mistaken yet, your best six finishes divided by regionals and special events. Special events is a European thing. I'm going to be talking about that very shortly. But the thing you should note is that your six best attendancy points count right so same story with the league challenges and league cups and you also get like three booster boxes if you get first place which is always nice i've had that happen quite a bit of time so which is uh, super nice and uh, there's also uh, these are the regions we've which we've talked about so as you can see us and canada get one two three four five regional championships and uh, as you can see that's uh, us and canada divided so there's uh, vancouver as well uh, Indianapolis, uh, Salt Lake City. So all of these will have regionals happening. So uh, if you want to be playing in real life, get your invite. These are the locations you need to go to. Uh, for registrations, those will open up shortly. Be sure to take a look at, of course, the website to refresh time and time again because there is here as you can see find an upcoming play pokemon event and if you click on it they will actually let you know that uh where the tournaments are happening here so uh, for me there's not a lot of things to see but if maybe we uh put our marker down in london can i do that i don't know what the postal city london london let's go yeah london 
yeah, no events have been found, but they will, of course, yeah, uh, add them up when they are ready. And if you want to have some help, be sure to uh, check out the Facebook page, uh, yeah, Verbank City, because there they're gonna, definitely going to be posting when registrations are live. On top of that, there are also special events which only happen in Europe. And these are exactly the same thing like regionals, except for the cash prizes. You don't get like $5,000 if you win a special event, but the CP is the exact same thing. So it's very interesting for people to, uh, of course, get their worlds invite by playing these special events over in Europe. You also get, of course, the booster boxes, etc. Those are still uh, a thing, but you don't get cash prizes. And the special events only happen, as you can see, in uh, Europe. And there's two special events, one in Bilbao, Spain, and one in Milan and Italy. So uh, these are also opportunities for European players because the European players actually have it really good right now. There's uh, for regional championships, we have uh, Liverpool, we have Lille, we have uh, Bremen and Germany. And on top, we also get two special events. So that's five tournaments where you can gonna get a lot of CP. Like look at the CP count, man. Let's say you go to five of them, all of them. And you get, let's say, in the top 32 for all of them. That, that's very strong, very strong. No, that's the top 64, right? You get into top 64 of all five of these regionals. That means you've been playing, you've practiced so much, you already have 20, 250 CP. <laughs> it seems impossible, right, for newer players, but imagine they lower down the CP threshold to 250, suddenly you're there. Because not only that, there's also international championships which provide way more CP, way more cash prices, etc. So qualifying for Worlds probably is a mixture between doing very well in all regionals slash special events and internationals right and then you can still get your cp even though you're a new fresh player that haven't played before yeah and before covid right because the 2020 2019 and 2020 uh, season actually helped a lot of people out to get their world invite but they will probably if my prediction is right they will lower the cp threshold people that already have cp can go uh, hunt down that day two invite which happens on friday i'm assuming because day one starts on thursday there's a four-day event, by the way. They stated that here on the World Championships here. Uh, the 2022 World Championships takes place in London. And uh, they actually, yeah, day two of Worlds will occur on Friday. So it's a four-day event. And Thursday will begin for people that uh, qualified for day one. Uh, for the other regional championships in Europe, we have, of course, we talked about these. Lille, Liverpool, Raymond on top of the two special events, Bilbao and, of course, Milan. For uh, Latin America, they have two regionals. That's all they have. Also, there there has not been an internationals uh, that has has been planned. I will. I'm going to talk about internationals very shortly, but we will come back to this. So, Oceania and the regional championships uh, schedule is Brisbane and two more. So uh, that's three regionals in total. And uh, for internationals, that I don't think there's also an internationals for that. Let's just go, scroll down here and just go to internationals because I'm going to try and make a statement here, right? So internationals, way bigger than regionals. So everything is a step further, right? So top level competition. You don't actually need any CP to enter an internationals. You don't need any CP to enter in a regionals. You can just go and uh, registrate and just play. That's good news, right? So there's not a disadvantage. Everybody can play. And there's only two internationals planned. One is planned in Frankfurt. And then there's one in Columbus and, uh, of course, in the US. So there's North American internationals and Europe uh, get an internationals. The cool thing is... Okay, the prizes, right? You get like <laughs> awards like 5,000 or more. It's crazy. Uh, yeah, 10,000. You get $10,000 if you get first place in an international tournament. There's only two of them. I also get like a lot of booster boxes. I cannot even like that. That's already three of them. It's way too much to count. It's like two booster box cases, if I'm not mistaken. I really want to know now. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's get the calculator out. 216 divided by 36 that's uh yeah six booster boxes okay <laughs> it's a booster box case that you get uh on top of that let's see the cp amount because that's very important for the cp if you got first place insta worlds invite that's what it is that is what it is so insta worlds invite if you get first place in an international it does make sense right you want they want you want all the international champs to attend world championships if you get, let's say there's 800 players and you get like 256, you still get 80 championship points, which is huge, huge. Actually, very, very insane. And uh, only your best finishes uh, count here. So you can attend four international champions and all of them count. So don't worry about this specific uh, line over here because there's only two international championships this season. 
But let's return to the regionals. Let's say I am a player from, let's see here. I'm a player from Latin America. There we go. Out of nowhere, I'm a player from Latin America. And uh, what do I need to qualify for the World Championships here? Look at this. Latin America, Masters, I need 250 CP. I'm a new player. I don't have an internationals. I don't have the amount of money to travel through international tournaments. Also, you can enter any tournament. Let's say you want to be traveling to uh, America to play regionals. You can do that. You can travel to uh, internationals to play tournaments. It's all possible, but people don't always do that. I, for me, I'm personally sticking to all the uh, European tournaments. Might think about North American internationals, but depends on how well the season develops. But let's say I'm just a regular uh, fella from uh, Brazil. I'm from Latin America out of nowhere. And uh, there's two regionals that I'm attending to. That's all because I have no challenges. I have no cups. They have not commenced. And uh, the I don't have the way to go to an international tournament. So I have two regionals. Let's check out the CP amount, right? So regionals is giving you... Ta -ta 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 -ta. 200 CP if I win. Let's say I'm an average player, but still very good. I get into the um, top 64 of both regionals. How cool am I? And then I get 100 CP. 100 CP, that's all I get. How will I ever qualify for Worlds if I only am able to attend two regionals near me? <laughs> that's just not passable. So whether they need to lower down the CP, that's the only way because people like, uh, they are going to think it's unfair, right? Because people with money can travel to all the internationals and have a bigger chance. And right now that's not the case. So I think they really need to change because newer players otherwise don't have a way to qualify for Worlds. But in a normal world, let's imagine you are watching this in the future. You can actually get points by challenges, eight of them, cups, eight of them, a couple of regionals and the internationals, which happens in every like... Like normally there's a uh, Latin American international, but that's not the case in this season. So you have way better odds to qualify then, but now it's way too difficult. Uh, if you have already CP from the 2019-2020 season, then it's uh, a little bit easier for Latin American players to, uh, of course, get their invite. But now I don't see it happening for newer players. The European players and the people from the US have it a little bit easier because they have a lot of opportunities, right? Okay, let's just calculate for... Uh, European players. I'm going to six of them. We have Bremen, we have Milan, Bilbao, Lille. What else do we have? London. No, not London. It's uh, Liverpool. So five of them. And then the internationals in, uh, in Frankfurt. That's six opportunities. Imagine these are like five of them that I attend to and I get uh, in the top 64, which I already talked about. So that's 20, uh, 250 points. And then in uh, the internationals, uh, yeah, in the internationals, I get top 64 again. So top 64 in all of them should be like very, very, you're a very great player, right? That's 130. That means you get your world's invite. <laughs> so if you get top 64 at everything, you get there. If you not, if you don't get top 64, although you, if you are uh, 128 in the internationals, you can also get there. But it's super hard for uh, newer players. That's why I want to be noting down here. So uh, yeah. Practice a lot, try to do your best, and uh, don't worry about the world's invite. There is going to be probably a threshold that they are going to lower down. And if not, you get the experience of playing the game in a big scale tournament. And of course, the next season you will be better. Mark my words. So lots of information, right? How, how do you guys feel about uh, this so far? All the championships that I have highlighted here. And uh, how do you actually are able to qualify for Worlds? There's the event locator which is on the left of the Pokemon website, which sometimes gives you uh, lots of uh, yeah tournaments like challenges and cups and stuff, but that's not the case anymore. So only regionals are going to be a thing. And that's the way you qualify for Worlds. Let's just, as a little side note, maybe it can be noted here. Let's go to Limitless. Let's go to Tournaments. That's Limitless uh, TCG, by the way. The tournament filter, let's just scratch that. Apply. Uh, the last tournament that was kind of successful for me was the Bahan Regionals the 11th of January 2020. So I was playing of course my good friend Blasafalan and as you can see this is my name over here and uh, let's just calculate here right. Don't worry about these qualifications these are all things online so I went to the special event in Paris on the 2019 uh, on the uh, 2nd of November and the 2019-2020 season I got second which indicates that how much CP do I get? It was a special event, which is the same as the originals. I got 160 CP, super great. 
Then I also got like 12 at the regionals and Baham. 12. Let's see here. That's 80 CP. So it can go very quickly. That's 240 I already have. That's like 110 points away from my world's invite. Cool, right? So if you are doing very well, you can get your invite very quickly. But not all people will score very well during their first couple of tournaments. So that's why I think they need to lower down the threshold. But I just want to showcase it is possible if you don't have any CP to qualify using the current rules. But it's way, it's like a, an insane hard level, right? It's like expert mode or something. <laughs> but it is possible. So I hope you guys uh, have a little bit of an understanding. There's also this uh, movie right here that's uh, showcasing that. Pokemon uh, is reopening and this is their safety requirements. So uh, if we look at this, there we go. They are reopening. They are showcasing the, the guidelines for uh, playing an event. But this is just... Yeah, no eating or drinking in the venue is allowed during uh, the event, which is gonna be crazy because of the fact that everybody has to go outside to drink and eat so players are required to sanitize their hands after switching opponents so there's gonna be a line at the uh, bathroom each match uh, has to be one meter apart from each other so it's gonna the venue is gonna be huge so there's gonna be a limitation on how many people can play a separate area is designed for spectators and events are restricted to participate maximum of 30 players at a time that is for cups and challenges, but they have not resumed that. So are these like the rules for pre-releases? I don't know. Yeah, you need a mask if events commence again. You cannot eat and drink inside a store. <laughs> they did so many things like uh, you cannot like uh, shake your hands. Friendly hello instead. Hand sanitizer, yeah, that's everything we actually did. So they made a separate video talking about uh, the play reopening, right? Everybody like very excited. Ah, play Pokemon is uh, opening once again, but this is just for league and pre-releases. It's not stating for league cups and league challenges, unfortunately. So, and the only way casual events like league and pre-releases that it is allowed is in Chile and New Zealand. Other than that. Uh, league challenges cups and stuff they are no resume uh, they are not going to be resuming in 2022 so yeah that's it for uh, how to qualify for worlds this has been uh, kind of again uh, like me just talking out loud how to qualify for worlds and in, in regular uh, days you will need to just play a lot of cups play, play a lot of challenges play some regionals you don't need to play all of them if you play a lot locally and then out of nowhere you get CP requirement to go to worlds now, without challenges and cups, you just have to focus on regionals and internationals. Try to play as uh, the very best you ever can, because if you score very high at one of them, you could still make it to Worlds. And the people that have their CP from the 2019-2020 season keep their CP and have an advantage, which is something that is a little bit unfair. So I hope they change it up. I really hope so. And there's also like... These are the only ch uh, tournaments there are, so uh, you can localize... Uh, localize you can. If you click here, you can find them and uh, you can just see where the event is being held and then you can play in them in regular times and just try to get your world's invite. Now it's just gonna have to uh, depend on whether they drop the CP amount or if people will have to just go crazy at regionals to just earn their invite. With that being said, I will be going to, just as a little side note, are these regionals? No, I'm at the internationals. Let's go all the way up. Uh, if you want to be knowing, I'm going to be going to Liverpool next month. I'm going to be going to Lille. I'm going to be going to uh, the Bremen. I'm going to be going to the uh, Internationals in Frankfurt. I'm going to be hopefully going to Bilbao and Milan, but that is not certain quite yet. Depends on how well I do and how much CP I need for a day two invitation. Anyhow, this was that the TCG. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, a run through of how to qualify for Worlds. And also if you are, of course, attending some of these events that I told you, you need a 60 card deck that is legal in the standard format because I think all of them are gonna be playing in the standard format. There's no expanded tournament. Of course, yeah, have yourself a, a fantastic rest of your day. Check out our sponsors, PokedownStore.com if you're uh, looking to get your uh, TCGO code to play online. Of course, there's still some stuff online. For instance, the team challenge, uh, which is very, very cool because that means there are still things you can do online without having to worry about the world's invite. 
Uh, you can get, of course, 5% off by clicking, of course, the link down below and using the coupon, coupon code ZWCCG for 5% off. There's uh, yourplaymat.com if you want to create your own unique custom playmat for the new season. You can, of course, create one. Click in the link down below, gets you 10% off when checking out. There's also cardsmarket.com if you're looking for a physical product. If you're a European player, you can check it out and then you can, of course, get uh, the referral name ZWCCG going to help uh, support the channel. You can buy and sell cards to people all across Europe, so definitely worth checking out. Anyhow, have yourself a fantastic rest of the day and uh, let's get the discussion started, shall we? Will you qualify for Worlds? Will you think they will lower the CP amount? Will you uh, not play in regionals because you still think it's not safe? I really want to hear your opinions down below in the comments and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Peace!